into effect next year. A recent poll shows 72 percent of Americans believe gay marriage is inevitable for the U.S., but a traditional marriage movement is also gaining steam. And as Heather Sells reports, its leaders represent both a new generation and a new way of thinking. In recent years, the marriage debate has resembled an athletic event. Gay activists on offense and traditional marriage supporters playing defense at best. Now a new generation has entered the game. The other side has been kind of preparing the seeds for this debate for 20 or 30 years. Uh, and they've been well prepared, well organized, and the response is just in its infancy. It's a debate known for highly charged emotion, as Ryan Anderson well knows. He willingly enters hostile arenas like the Piers Morgan show on CNN. Anderson sees it as a calling that goes back to his days at Princeton, when he saw the traditional marriage side being dismissed, although it carried a stronger argument. But I said, you know, I almost have like a duty, an obligation um, to be making these arguments because I kind of understand what both sides are saying um, and where the disconnect is. To that end, Anderson recently co-authored What is Marriage? where he argues that government should support traditional marriage because of its link to child welfare. We could get government out of the bedroom if it weren't for the fact that a certain type of act between a man and a woman creates new life and children need moms and dads. The New York Times recently recognized Anderson and other movement leaders like Caitlin Seary, who directs the Love and Fidelity Network on college campuses. We're trying to help students prepare themselves for healthy marriages so that they will then raise healthy families because healthy families are the foundation of our society. What Siri Anderson and other young leaders have in common, a willingness to face fierce opposition and think outside the box about what is possible. What they're up against, a Supreme Court that may soon decide in favor of gay marriage and a country where the majority believe that its legalization is inevitable. But polls also show that almost half of all Americans believe that homosexual behavior is a sin. Those with such deeply held beliefs will no doubt welcome a movement that would champion their cause and provide profound arguments in favor of one of life's most sacred institutions. Heather Sells, CBN News.